If you haven't been flying for a while, you really need to watch this because these are five things that could kill you while you're still on the ground. We are all coming out of a season of COVID or going into a season of COVID or going into a new season of COVID or coming and going from somewhere. But the real fact of the matter is, if you haven't been flying for a while, you are rusty, myself included. There is a really bad trend in general aviation happening recently, and we all need to take notice of it now. And we need to remember we always, as pilots, need to stay on top of our game. And remember, we just don't hop in a plane and go flying. Look, general aviation accidents have been on the rise over the last few months. And I'm not gonna talk about why, or I'm not gonna talk about anything that the NTSB does, or I'm not gonna secondhand quarterback the NTSB. That's their specialty, and they are really, really good at it. But what I am going to do is remind all of us that we all need to go back to the basics and remember our basic training. It's there for a reason. As pilots, we always need to remember that we need to keep sharp, and we need to keep those basics at the front and center of our mind. And this hit home for me a couple of weeks ago as I was getting my prop balanced. And I'm not immune to this. And the reality is I hadn't been flying for a while. And while my plane was down, it was down for three months. And I had only been flying for maybe 10 to 12 hours in the last three months. That alone is cause for alarm. So a couple of weeks ago, I overlooked something so serious, I was even debating to make a program on it. And it literally sent chills down my spine when it happened. And the bottom line is, yeah, it could have killed me. And it happened because I was out of practice and I was distracted. So here's what happened. I was getting my prop balance at another airport right after my initial break-in flight of the new engine. So I took the plane over early in the morning and I assisted in the balancing. To do that, I secured the plane and I had to restart it multiple times and run the engine up to 2400 every time. So I put the control lock in on the right side so it wouldn't interfere with me starting the engine repeatedly, which was all great. When we were done, I got my bill, I was talking and I was just got distracted. And as I got back in the plane, I did not do it pre-flight. And as I let my feet off the brakes to taxi, I gave a quick scan to the cockpit and I saw the control lock still in place on the right side yoke. I immediately froze. So this leads me to the number one item that could kill you on the ground. Checklists. Checklists, 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 checklists. Do your checklists and then do them again. Take your time and when in doubt, do them again. If you are forgetting certain items, notice where and come up with a plan or some kind of memory aid to remember. Remember, not doing your checklist can kill you. Please do your checklist and take your time. Two, distractions during pre-flight. This always happens to me and I am sometimes rude, but I really don't care. When I am doing my pre-flight, inadvertently someone always comes over and starts talking to me. Hey, I love your channel. Hey, we have got this. Hey, do you like your dog? Blah, blah, blah. When you are doing your pre-flight, focus solely on your pre-flight and take your time. Remember, you may discover something that will stop you from flying and save your life. Number three, not sumping your fuel. This is easy to forget, and to make sure I remember, I created a memory aid out of it. So every time I get fuel, I take the fuel strainer out of the back pocket of my back seat and I put it on my front seat. It's a muscle memory now, and it really helps. Fuel contamination will happen, and it is entirely preventable. Sump your fuel. Number four, the I'm safe checklist. This one's kind of a sleeper, but it is still really important. Do the I'm safe checklist. While we're on my trip up to New York and back, we stopped in DC and the air quality was really bad. My eyes were really scratchy and I was feeling the city air and I was tired and we were gonna go flying, but I was just like, you know what, I'm not safe. So I canceled the flying for the day until I felt better. It was a simple decision, but it was also a wise decision. Don't be afraid to make that wise decision to not go flying. And finally, number five, weather. Please check and recheck and double check the weather. Even if it looks awesome out there, the weather can change in an instant, especially now in thunderstorm season. It's a simple check. Also, don't cut close to large thunderstorms. Remember, the safe distance is 25 miles away from thunderstorms. 
And just the other day, when we were coming back from DC to Florida, we were going in between two major storm systems that were about 50 miles apart. And sure enough, what happened? Ice crystals started to form on the windshield and the, it was ice crystals that were getting thrown out of one of the thunderstorm clouds. It was a beautiful sunny day, but it still can happen. Remember, if you've read about it, it can happen. So take these five things to heart, and if you haven't been flying for a while, make sure you take your time and pay attention to the details. It could just save your life. <laughs>